That's right. It's Trash Tuesday. Welcome. You guys, today is the episode where we all get canceled or we're extreme feminist icons. I really don't know which one. Um, I have road dates coming up. I'm so excited. My stand-up shows are going to be very personal and you're going to learn way too much about me and hopefully you'll have a fun time. I know you will. Um, you can get tickets at estheronice.com. I'm coming to San Francisco, Portland, and New York, and some of those might already be sold out. I'm Thank you so much for your support. I can't wait. And sleepoverbyester.com for my wonderful new items. It's me, Annie Letterman. I know you can't tell because I look so hot. You don't even know what to do with your nether regions because I look so gorgeous today. Anyway, it's the Halloween episode. You can come see me live in Philadelphia, my hometown at the Punchline, Philly, November 26th and 27th, right around Eat Your Turkey. Come see me. Wawa, Go Eagles, Cheese Steaks, the Irvine Improv. December 2nd. Then you can see me at Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas, December 9th through 11th. You can see me in New Jersey at Bananas Comedy Club, December 16th through 18th. Go to AnnieLetterman.com. Check out all the dates. There's a bunch of them. It's going to be really fun. What the f- am I, I know. At? How have you not even had a reaction to my bald cap? Literally, what the f- Yeah. What the f- disgusting <laughs> am i looking at right I'm now i'm a priest of course a jew would say that <laughs> this is really getting very it's a it's a this is a a religion war let's go and why i'm um, your pupils are shining <laughs> <laughs> and why is kalila like just a 10 hot. out of 10 i've had this in my closet for years guys <laughs> it's actually the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life i'm mesmerized <laughs> And you forgot to draw my tits in. I know, but I don't know if mine are drawn in enough to to counter this wig. And you have deodorant stains all over I your know, costume. I know, I was going to fix it, but then I was like, I don't care. No, it's on brand for us. We're you not guys, perfect. I have a bald wig on right now, okay? we're. Does it even show on camera? What, the wig? <laughs> Friar Tuck. <laughs> I'm hot Friar Tuck. I'm Friar um, <laughs> Slut. <laughs> Okay, should we say what's going on? I'm um, Friar Tuck My Dick. That actually is very cute. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's very cute. Esther. Unzip it a little, let it get us some cleave. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Wow, well, we. I, I did Kegel. <laughs> my root chakra <laughs> queefed. Oh, it has a little tail. So I was told that the theme was a sexy Halloween costume, but based on your child, something you dressed up as when you were younger. Correct. The fact that nobody got you booty shorts and a Johnny Rocket outfit (laughs) makes me so upset. (laughs) But I was always dressed as a Dalmatian when I was little because my favorite movie was 101 Dalmatian. You were also a legitimate Dalmatian called Jacob, right? That's right. I I did think I was a dog for a brief period of time. And this is... Actually, surprisingly, this is the yeah. sluttiest part. I don't know why. Really, the boot cuts. Wow, we are we? This is really my favorite Dalmatian was I was Pongo. You know what? I don't know the Dalmatians. That's Pongo where it's from, like Pongo, because just... we had a foster that Bobby named Pongo, and I just thought he just pulled it out of nowhere. I don't remember that Maybe movie could that name well. I watched Bongo it. Now it was Pongo and Perdita were the mom and dad Dalmatian. Oh, Perdita! Wait, did you watch the 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 live action one? Yes. And did you like it? I did like it. I have always had the same thing. Like whenever someone remakes something, I'm I'm just appreciative that I get to experience my favorite thing in another way. I don't get like hatery about it. I surprisingly did get hatery about Beauty and the Beast. And Selena. And the Selena. Oh, I don't think I saw Beauty and the Beast. The Beauty and the Beast one, except that I was really <laughs> What? You just start talking like you've seen a lot of movies and I know you haven't. You're like, I'm appreciative. I'm not hatery when they come up with the one movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I'm, then you haven't seen Beauty and the Beast, I'm one like, of the most popular I know, movies of all time. No, the, re, the re-live oh, remake. The but I actually remake. think maybe I did. I don't know. This is not interesting. It was not Sorry. good. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. I still enjoyed myself because I love all the songs. I know every word to every song. Hermione was... She wasn't it, right? That's right. She wasn't Belle. I'm sorry, Hermione. You got a character that was very Little popular town. on Never from a quiet village, village. every Re- day, what like is the one from? before. From? Mm-hmm. Little town full of little people waking up to say, 
Bonjour. 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 <laughs> There goes the baker <laughs> with his tray like always. The same old bread and rolls to sell. Every morning just to say, since the morning that we came to this poor provincial, provincial town. town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, <laughs> good morning. yeah. <laughs> good morning, Belle. Okay, let's stop because I think this will help. This is not good for copyright reasons on YouTube. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so Where's we should probably ticket? explain our costumes unless yeah. they're pretty self explained planetary i think annie needs a i need a full head to toe i had a fucking staff and i'm really mad i had a staff i'm really relieved <laughs> oh and you would have been poked left and right with it now i have questions i'll just let you take the floor what are you i was friar tuck in third grade okay and so now i'm friar tuck now but i'm i'm sexy friar tuck. grown friar and who's friar tuck Friar Tuck is the priest in Robin Hood. Why did you dress as that in third grade? I don't know. I don't know. And it, I'm my mother's only daughter. So you think she would have been like, like steered me in a different direction. She dyed a sheet brown and wrapped me in it. And I remember they only, the only Friar Tuck wig they had was, was gray. So I was like an elderly Friar Tuck. Makes sense. Every mom's favorite movie at that time was Robin Hood because of Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Oh, really? And then the Brian Adams song to match the, you know, in the soundtrack. What song? Yeah. Everything I do, I do, do it, it for you. you. This is a musical episode. This is the musical episode, guys. Anything to distract from my wig. <laughs> I feel like I, I, you know, I, I'm not like the most vain person, but it is hard to be in a bald cap. I look respect in public. When, when George said that I had to dress like a hot version of an old costume, um, I really did consider this because I told you guys that I was Osama bin Laden like right after 9-11. You were? And I just could not, I could not figure out a hot Osama bin Laden. You, I think he's always hot because he's always hot. <laughs> you know he's that? He's never not been hot. No comment. Um, Osama Zaddy Laden. You <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Shit. it does exist. So there is a sexy Osama bin Laden costume out there. Wow, that's disturbing. Will you look up sexy Friar Tuck and see if I'm the I'm the first I one? Well, I could have just cut out some sheets, shown my titties. But and you are <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's like Carlos's hair. <laughs> oh my god, it's Carlos's Carlos hair. Is, he's been a priest this whole time. Yeah. Okay, wait. So I chose Selena's basically because um, I don't know if you guys know, but deep down inside, and this is no offense to the Latino Body community, well, you but are a Latinx person. I I feel it. Like if you were to say, like I know I'm Asian geographically, but she's I'm, Latin next. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very very connected to the community. I know at least like fifteen Selena songs. That's huge. So I um, therefore I'm here to represent Quince. You look a quince. so hot. Quince songs. Have you guys been to a quince? A quinceanera? quinceanera? Yes, I no, danced in it's one. so sad. Oh, really? You yes. were part of the vals? Did they buy, they paid, bought you? They bought you? No, it was, my best friend Christina is Cuban. I was like one of the dancers. How fun was it? It was awesome. Were you wearing the same outfit? <laughs> as, as Christina or as this right now? <laughs> did, you, did she have it in a hall? Yeah, it was in a beautiful banquet hall. She wore a dress that looked like a wedding dress. Mm -hmm, we were all in like pink, it looked like bridesmaids, mm -hmm. even though we were 15. It was very weird. Um, one of her cousins was super hot. Mm -hmm. Jorge. <laughs> oh my God. Perfect. I made Perfect out name for a hot cousin. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Melissa's um, quinceanera. Um, I made out with at least three of her mustached uncles. What? Oh my God. Is that true? I just tongue them down, just hard. You went to them. They were like, no, you're a kid. You're well, like, no, you uh, dance, right? We dance too. And then you we, dance. Had, we, we were dancing and they take <laughs> the dance. lead. And you know what? I, uh, yeah. And you made out with uncles? Actually, there oh, was a girl, yeah. but there it is had Hispanic a, they, uncles. But she had uncles that, that were in their twenties, yeah. like old, like older, okay. like in their late twenties. But I did have a friend in high school that was totally hooking up with one of our friends' uncles. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> <laughs> Jorge's <What's> dad. <laughs> when you were in high school, what's the oldest guy you um, hooked up with? I w when I was a freshman, I would like briefly dated a senior, like my very beginning. Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> But it, I didn't really, I, I stayed within high school for mm. all of high school. You think you're ready and then you go home crying is what it is. What like, are you talking I, about? When I had to retell this story to a <laughs> friend a yesterday. 
what is going on? <laughs> I met this guy on like uh, uh, the party line because I didn't have the like any. Line. Yeah, so we would just call and it's kind of like swiping. If you didn't like who you were talking to, you would press a number and it would move on to the Wait, next person. Wait, is this a real thing? Yeah, it was a party I never line. called them though. How much did they cost? It was free. The party lines were free? The party lines were free. And so I met this guy. He went to Cal State Northridge. His name was Brian. And he said he was a Calvin Klein model. And so he picked me up. He lived all the way in the, I lived in Pasadena. He lived like 40 minutes away here in the valley. He took me out to claim jumper. I was 16 years old. He was he lived in the dorms for some What's reason, but he jumper? looked like he was 30. You don't know claim jumper. It's like no, a it? chain restaurant. Yeah, it's a chain restaurant. Did you restaurant. work at it? No, but I've been. <laughs> it's fine. And then um, he wouldn't give me a ride home until uh, like he fucked me like brutally. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. It was really sad. I had to recount this story and I didn't think it hurt me until I had to retell it again. Not to it's be, hurting me too. Not honestly. to hurt you more, but can you tell us more details? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell what us the brutal part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after Claim Jumper, I was like, okay, like maybe we'll just do this and we'll make out. And even I was even open to sex, but the way that he had sex with me was so it's like, so I want to just yeah. beat this girl up. And then I was like, after sex, I was like, can you take me home now? And he was like, no, just sleep here. And the reason that he wanted me to sleep there was because he wanted to wait a couple hours, fuck me again, brutally, and then send me home crying. Like I've never had, I've never had someone just like terrorize me like that. It was so rough and so painful and there was no It feels across. like a confession. What do you mean? Five Hail Terror Marys. Terrorize. Like that's where I'm starting to be like this There is was no, it no, was. The story has always been bad. You are, <laughs> you're poking at details. She's been poked, okay? <laughs> Enough. Yeah, it was really rough. I remember bleeding a lot. I remember just like, just, it was horrible. Welcome to the Halloween episode, guys. <laughs> Vaginal bleeding included. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this should say trigger warning. But. Is that, yeah, but you know what? Giggle, you, giggle. Was, were we you under up. 18? And I was, was under 18. And, he was and his name was Brian. And is, he was over 18? Oh, he was probably 30 living in a dorm somewhere so in Cal State Northridge. So literally statutory was, rape. Yes, yeah. for sure. Welcome to Trash Tuesday. <laughs> and uh, this is the very beginning of this <laughs> episode. We have not been through much yet. I I have a I, don't know, I, have, I have a, a real as well. <laughs> one up me. One mine, up no, me. mine is not gonna one up you. I'm so sorry, but it. You know why? why? <laughs> this is so. Why am I doing this? Because you weren't as hot as her. <laughs> I know, <laughs> not as well, many people. She was. She was a model. No, I was. I was. And I, I was a big. I'm saying that as I was a mall model. I was a big back swimmer. One here, that's. I'm just. Thank you, know. you so much for acknowledging this. It's been so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> When you stroll in, you kind of put your tits out a little. It's That's like, what I'm saying. I know I'm the ugliest one here, so I say imagine. that from the, that place. You were not as hot as her. No, I and less listen. people raped you because of it. <laughs> Thank you. And again, I must because I do. You. you know what? Every time I have been like, I I'm not even gonna lie. You said <laughs> such a good point because we need to reclaim our no, molestations okay no, we no. actually were hot so <laughs> no i just want to clarify something for you because you know how she's like i was raped and we're like what no it's obvious she was hot where we don't understand because we were ugly. i know it's like <laughs> when you do get when you do get molested Nobody and you else? look like no when you look identical to the middle hansen brother who i will tell is the hottest hansen brother but he is a young boy and someone jizzes on you you go what are you into <laughs> how was i was the one my okay, my rape story is not that good, obviously, as the ugliest of the rape. <laughs> um, so I, I was, I kind of got up one morning. And I was like, uh, I brushed my ugly teeth, and um, no, I went. I was with my friend. We went to her, uh, her. I don't know who, how she was friends with this guy, but he was a grown man that we were friends. With. <laughs> Isn't that always <laughs> who funny? Who was definitely gonna rape us? It's it like, like, why is a grown man? -y, it's know? like with we were thirteen or fourteen. <laughs> Which, by the way, you think you're you're old then if you look back at pictures of you. Even if you are a mature one, it means you look 15. No, you're absolutely right. If you're right. mature for 14, you look 15 years old. All, Dude, all this time when I made out with older uncles, I was like, oh, I look old. They must know I look old. But when I look back at pictures, I'm like, that's a fucking No, we were so little. Dude, when I baby. saw the, that video of me at 18 speaking, I literally. What video? The, 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 the high sex school, tape. Yeah, where I oh, was the, 18. Your sex tape. But me, 18, I look like a talking baby. I look like, you look a, like a talking baby, baby now. I'm Esther. acting like a baby. The fact that you have I was any a sexual activity is, it's criminal. 
It's, I'm, Dave should be in fucking prison. I'm 33. Just <laughs> but it's so weird. It's weird. I told you I hold your hand when you cross the street. I like forget. I know, and I don't stop you. Do I? I? I'm like. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So you were telling a sex story. A se- Why did you turn it into a sex story? <laughs> <Yeah>. Or <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. Yeah, and my my tie dyed over my oversized tie dyed shirt with the goofy picture. <laughs> Come on, Annie, rank I was the not rape. Like a, I wasn't sexy yet. So my friend was like, this guy's going to buy his beer. Let's go to his house. And she made me go up to his daughter's house, room and make out with him. Wait, and he was what? like 40. In his daughter's and room? And I was 13 on his daughter's little bed. Wait, Annie, what? That's, That's worse not than my story. It's, did you say it's worse? No, I feel like it's so, a little creepier because- I think it's worse. I think Why? it's worse too. Because there was, so, there was coercion on a, a different side. My friend did it. My friend made me do it. Yeah, that's bad. Wait, <laughs> I'm not friends with her anymore. <laughs> you know what, bitch? I'm never letting you do my hair. She's a hairdresser now. I'm never letting you do my hair. Actually, she did my hair. Did she say why? <laughs> actually, you know what? It's creepy like that this 40-year-old man was like, get that little one to make out with you. That's yeah, Criminal. recruiting. He was using yeah. her to recruit you in. We probably already banged her. What did you do? You guys just made out? Yeah, it sucked. I was so, I hated it. Why? He was just ugly and I just didn't like it. And you did it for beer? I just did it because I didn't feel like I had another option. Look, and when when it comes to ugly, that's never the pro- issue for me. I've, I <laughs> fucked two boys. Uh, one was named know. Froggy. Another one was named Guac. Like they call him <laughs> Guac. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that was he, did he was cost it, was it because called him guac? Was it because he was. was it because he was brown and it did was like second day guac? A dollar seventy extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at her stoner laugh. Are you high right now, bitch? No, but I love a good Chipotle joke. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> You, a guy named Guac. Guac. I took a Mad Dog 2020 to the dome, You're, and somehow Mad Dog 2020. No, no, do you no. remember that? No, yeah, no, no. I think that's what that guy was buying me. Kalila, <laughs> Kalila tells us just now she hooked up with a guy named Guac, and honestly. You're, you've been let go from the show. You're fired. You gotta go. <laughs> you are. We're gonna continue to use the studio, though. Thank you. <laughs> and if Bobby could make a cameo every other, that'd be great. Thank oh, you. God. After this episode, I'm gonna need uh, some better help. <laughs> this You're not wild. the only one. Uh, listen here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been tuning in at all, <laughs> at all, you know that I've I have a long list of things that have hindered my life. Uh huh. Thankfully, though, there's better help. Dude, you guys have to check out betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. You are never going to regret actually getting help. It, there's like I don't think this podcast would still be on the air if we didn't all use better help. Correct. They have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, anger, family conflicts, all of it, sleep, trauma, any trauma, podcast trauma, <laughs> trauma mentioned on podcast, trauma, 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 trauma. created by podcast <laughs> for podcasts. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, affordable. In fact, so many have been using better help that they are recruiting additional counselors in all fifty states. Yeah. And listen, we've all had like crazy things happen everyone in life has had something Mm -hmm. insane happen there's no shame in it you just get a little help if there's anything we know for sure now mental health i just knocked this over but mental health like we need mental health help you can't just let it be everyone you need help can't just be smacking those microphones around (laughs) you guys we want you to start living a happier life today for real and as a listener you'll get 10 percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash trash tuesday join over 1 million people have taken charge of their mental health again that's better help h-e-l-p dot com slash trash tuesday wow the malls are open bummer and i don't want to walk them i don't want to do them anymore you know why stitch uh, fix stitch fix has spoiled me i get my own stylist my clothes get shipped to my door i get to return what i don't like mm-hmm. 
And it's, it's that simple. Literally like living like a queen. Mm -hmm. We're introducing Stitch Fix Freestyle, a shop that is built just for you. So Stitch Fix Freestyle is your trusted style des destination where you can discover and instantly buy curated items based on your, your style, your likes, and your lifestyle. Whether you're looking for a brand that you love or to try a new one, at Stitch Fix Freestyle, you can shop a range of over a over a thousand brands that are personalized to your size and fit, which makes shopping so much smoother of an experience. Especially when like your body's toddler, but your face is like a grown up. Yes. It's curated <laughs> for any, well, whoever you are. With styles from workouts to workwear for lounging around the house or for a night out on the town, Stitch Fix Freestyle has clothes for any occasion. Plus, there's no subscription required, and they offer free shipping, returns, and exchanges. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash Tuesday. That's stitchfix.com slash Tuesday to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. So good. Stitchfix.com slash Tuesday. So much fun. Okay, what is this? Wait, what, George? Wait, what are uh, we you doing? Have a, you have a Sharpie, so draw the Trash Tuesday girls on your pumpkin, including yourself or the two others here. Shit. Okay, wait. Shut up, George. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Drawing each other? One person. Why don't we just choose one person to draw? This is so dumb. We suck at drawing. <laughs> George. It's going to be ugly as fuck. Annie is the only one that can draw. This is, well, a, this is the segment. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. Wait, I'm going to be like why how Frenemies got canceled was because Trisha was like called the segment bad. And then the, <laughs> that's like what I'm doing right now. I'm like, the producers suck here. You hear that, George? Oh, Pete. Loud and clear. <laughs> here it goes. I'm drawing Esther first. Okay, I am a little high. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> Don't tell Annie, though. It's a, just a tiny bit. I just want her to be loose. Do not tell Annie. I don't want her to know because she's obsessed with it. She keeps bringing it up and asking me, do not fucking tell her. I'm drawing Esther in that outfit? Is, 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 <laughs> Why are you drawing me being raped? Is Annie taking this shit? I think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a costume change. Excuse oh, me. <laughs> I'm sexy Kenny G. <laughs> but I put the thing on and I think I'm just Michelle Wolf. <laughs> now I have to change my drawing. <laughs> How is it my wig? Annie, you're supposed to draw us. Oh, we're drawing each other? Mm -hmm. And in, in the costumes. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm done with mine. Don't look. Please do not look over here. I don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> I won't. Okay, I have a really sad story. Oh, good. It will fit the theme of the podcast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go full sad on okay, this, Okay, my first year of college, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just, fuck it. I'm going to go get free candy, and I'm going to go trick-or-treat. And I went by myself, and I just dressed really warm, and I had no costume. And, like, all the houses, they were like, what? Like, they didn't understand what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> And it was so humiliating, but I didn't even give up. Like, I just kept doing it. You house, are strong. House after house was like, what? Like, you're an adult and you're not in a costume. Okay, I guess we'll give you candy. It was really, it was really dark. I don't and like I, when people question. It's yeah. like, I'm here. Just, yeah, I, that's what I the thought. Candy the candy is there. Give it to me. That's what I thought. It was like, I, this is just a formality. The costume is a formality. Oh, By the way, great... Uh, Great podcasting activity. Three people sitting silently for 10 minutes drawing. I didn't say you had to be quiet. But listen, it's <laughs> like, you know, you go through a couple rape stories, a relapse Yeah, story. you need to kind of You like, need to draw on a pumpkin when that happens, guys. Yeah. You need more than just a banana break. I would take my banana early. Do you, have, do you guys have um, dreams of being like in a feeder relationship? Have I asked you this? Uh, no. You don't, Esther? No. Why is Esther taking a banana break ahead? I thought we all were. You're the only one with a banana who hates bananas. Isn't it crazy that Esther no longer hates bananas and was just faking it? Oh, can I have time? one, Pete? Yeah. To my suspicion. So you know, I only like to eat a worm sucker. Oh. What's in it, Anne? <laughs> <laughs> A worm. Eat You're new. You're a new girl. It's a fucking scorpion. <laughs> Ew. You want the ants? Do you want a worm? Oh, no. 
Pick your poison. Wow, malatol syrup. Here's the ingredients. Malatol syrup, scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Just the word scorpion. It's horrible. Oh my god, Annie, you're a fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> You're a stupid whore. <laughs> I just draw what I see, you know? Did you put horns on her? <laughs> oh, I made her yeah. face so ugly. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You know what? You're not going to like your... I was trying to make you... Pretty. You on this pumpkin either, Annie. Annie, I, it looks like you draw Stevie Weeby. <laughs> your face looks so bad in this. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, Why does it say Esther first class on the board? Here's what the fuck I'll say about that. I have a fear because we've all got... We, Hawaii is official. We're all going there. Well, I need to book my ticket. You I haven't? haven't booked mine either. What? You guys, I sent you that itinerary last week. Can you resend it? You what? sent it. Oh. I don't know. Yesterday, if I really got it. by the way, or two days ago. And also, I am about to hit the highest status in my thing, so I have to fly today before I can get my ticket. Here, I have a. I have this fear that you're gonna go by yourself esther is a bobby and that she's going to leave us in economy and upgrade herself no. to first class Annie literally wants to do that and already told me last night she's going to do I'm that gonna do it. so you, you both you bitches are going to leave me why in extra comfort come to no with us. you're okay. have status on hawaiian airlines i am not going to spend my money like that you know what i would never pay for a first class ticket especially at a time where I'm flying with people I know, because that makes it first class. If you're with Thank people you. you're you know, no, making that's... first class and watching your friends walk by you to the back is that's what Bobby says. He says it's a pretty good feeling. No, no, no. I usually that's a I, I made a um I made a rule to only fly first class. Well, Dave said that you left him in economy. I had I had status on Alaska Airlines. <laughs> it was not I didn't yeah, ask I do have for status. the upgrade. You didn't ask for it. Well, I guess I checked a box that said I would be down. <laughs> but I did get it upgraded on our way to Mexico, and I was in first, and he was – but he's – That's he, funny to leave Dave back there, though. He sits on the plane. The moment he sits down, he falls asleep. Okay, I have a question. Follow-up question is, um, does he have resentment? No, he doesn't care. He, But I do think he plays it as a bit, like that it's funny. Bobby has done that to me. What do you mean? He's left me for first class. And how do you feel? I hated him for two days. Why? Be proud of him. Because I was like, I needed a shoulder to knock mm -hmm. out on. And that is did true. he invite you? He didn't invite me. Wait, are you serious? And then he blamed his manager for it. He's like, oh, should oh. Abby book this? So I'm. And then I called Abby. I was like, did you do this? She's like, no, I didn't. He must have upgraded himself. <laughs> That's so funny to be a liar. Oh, we fought. We we scrapped. All right, this is Kalila. I gave her her shoulders that she loves. Oh, thank you. Big and buff. Oh, her big shoulders. Pretty. There's myself. Abs. With abs. Abs for so days. So hot. Just gorgeous. Great hair. Extremely masculine abs. And then these have been very accurate. You kind of look like and Stevie then, Weeby there. And then here's Esther. Yeah. Let me see Here's Esther. Esther. <laughs> okay. So you think I'm Stewie from Family Guy? I think that your head is fatter than your body. <laughs> that is what I think. I think we got a smoking body, and I think we got to work on that face. No, I'm just kidding. But You're Esther, gorgeous. you have you. you have a great um, head to body ratio. You don't have like a no. Big, you've got a hot body. You're secretly hot. I have I head. have a big 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 face, but Filipino. No, yeah. you're really hot, but it's, you know, we yeah. like you not knowing it. So you yeah. stay with us. Okay, Last night, it? Annie said we have to keep Kalila down and not knowing the, how hot she is. So that she's going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure she said the first day we did the show anyway. So. <laughs> to keep I'm okay. Seen. So. Hello. <laughs> Esther, what's your, your, it's your big reveal. Okay. So I'm not really an artist. I feel like you nail it on this one. Though. I have a feeling. So you need so help with that I pumpkin. Wrote, I've been watching, just want to be careful. I've been, I've been watching a lot of Jeopardy. What is old rotten sperm? And I wager 10% of the IP of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this felt fitting to me because I did it in the form of a question. Mm -hmm. And we are all old rotten sperm. We all were made from old men. And I just thought was on my walk yesterday. I was thinking we haven't talked about that in a while. We haven't. So here's a reminder. I have a question. What? Um, are you watching Mayim Bialik? Yes. As the host, you're down. Are you yeah. liking it? Yeah, I think she's actually great because yeah. she's it's just fine. Like you just want someone who's just fine, and that's what she's. She's. But also, she's got like 
the credential. She's like a, a whiz. Yeah. She's like a. a or did yeah. she just play one on that show? No, no, she no. Really she one, right? she went to like Harvard. I, she went. She's like a real like neuro. She's so like with Eliza. I've met her before. It's been really. It's it's shocking to me. Blossom. I. She's just, been in my life a long time. I was like. <laughs> so I don't care how smart the host is just are they like a good simple host and are they getting us to where we need to go i love well that's everybody. great that means you can like me on this podcast <laughs> <laughs> here we go here's mine oh my esther. god i love it oh i love this me. Is you you got esther's arm to leg portion <laughs> perfect <laughs> well so why is one of my legs a stick oh. and the other is like a cankle you, you can be a penis <laughs> <laughs> one's you your a really penis. long thin penis one's your penis <laughs> Yeah, and what's going on? Why does she have a boot? Oh, you made us all hot. Annie looks hot. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's I look pretty gorgeous. good. Mm -hmm. You forgot my tits. Well, they're in oh, there. Oh, she didn't forget her own tits. I didn't wow. forget my tits. <laughs> Cute. Are we um, um, judging this, George? Who's the judge? Oh, God. Oh, no. Is I'm about to lose 10% of my IP. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is binding. You didn't know that. No, this is just a fun activity. No judgment over here. We're not going to have the man of the show judge everybody. Oh. George. Oh, really? The guy that wanted part of our OnlyFans money? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls. Spread the cheeks. We got money to make. <laughs> spread we got members that got to see those assholes. <laughs> Esther, you better eat that asshole like you promised. Oh, that's what we should have. Members only jackets. Yes. For Wait. OnlyFans subscribers. Yes. But, but what are they going to I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> I want to have like pink lady jackets. I want Letterman jackets. Yes. George. Yes. George, get to work. I've heard five things. George, also, can you just make something has. happen? <laughs> we want one piece of merch by next week. <laughs> for fuck's sake. We're, we're, we got Teslas. We got first class. <laughs> We have Teslas to pay I'm off. I'm staying in um, extra comfort economy. We got Teslas to I'm lease. Going, I'm going in the stowaway. Can, you, can I be your carry-on? I don't want to pay for my flight. Uh, wait, oh. I want to say that you're my dog. Can we please try to say you're my <laughs> emotional support dog? Let's just attempt it. Let's just see what they do. I will. I will. We'll say they're kink shaming. I will play the character. <laughs> 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 we got to find a Sherpa bag to shove you in. Can I just tell you, I will 100% pretend to be a I, dog. I, listen, I pledge right now that I will say this is my dog <laughs> and we will ride this bit until they almost kick And I off. pledge that I will not be on the same flight. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pledge. We're going to be flying private, bitch. Enjoy your fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh my God, and he's bought a plane. I bought a plane, you guys. <laughs> George. George, can we sell some merch? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Guys, I, my Tesla plane is... I have a pro... This is what I said when I said out a topic. I have a proposition for you. <laughs> I was thinking last night after I saw you this morning, I think I should be your business manager. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know what you think. I, I, you'd I, be terrible because you would be... You would come in and be like, you're spending... Like you would literally... <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be your business manager. I think the audience should vote. I want to tell you that she, okay, wait, she, he, sorry, he, I don't want to misgender it. Um, <laughs> it. <laughs> he was like, last night he was like, you spend too much money. And then he, also he goes, I need a popcorn machine too. <laughs> Send me the link. So this would be a business manager that's telling me like, like, buy, like getting a Tesla is a bad idea, but definitely get the popcorn machine. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is what I look for in a business manager. Keep spending, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I just want someone to go. You're doing great. Keep doing it. What do they do for you that I can't do? I'm genuinely. Esther, this is a genuinely. You know what they do? Where would you they put your money? You know what they do? They don't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never annoyed by them. <laughs> Esther, where would you take? Let's say Annie's like, here's yeah, here are my savings you, account. Would you I want to invest money? it. Where no, would you put it? I Here's the thing. Because I don't even. I think the business manager just like pays the bills, organizes, and tells you your budget. And I think, I think I would be, a, I, I'm not saying I want the job. I'm not saying I really- Are you good on QuickBooks? I'm just saying okay, I think Esther, I would be, I think I would play. be a good business manager. Let's role play. Hey, I'm at this Halloween shop. I just bought my Friar Tuck outfit, but there's this other outfit I really want. It kind of looks like Michelle Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> it's $400, should I get it? It's for one episode, but it's so funny. Four hundred dollars. First of all, I'd say why for are the you, laugh. Why are you calling me for an individual purchase? Like that's just this is already too much, and you owe me more. So you're now you're quitting. <laughs> you're resigning. First role play. <laughs> I would say, um, 
okay, wow, four hundred dollars for an episode. I think that that might be like. So you think I should charge the other girls for it because they're kind of a part of this? Wait, uh, maybe you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another. Let me think of a real purchase. I hit my bonuses this weekend. Okay. Made a lot of money. I would. I really want to buy my boyfriend a three hundred dollar jacket. I would say like. Just because you just made bonuses or you just made money, that doesn't mean you have to buy something every time. Like I'd actually, as your business manager, I'd like to get you out of this. Whole well, you know what? You don't know who you're working cycle. with because you're working with Annie Bonus Letterman. And she <laughs> lives a different life than you. I bought that Tesla after a bonus. I go wild. Oh my god! I go wild. <laughs> Oh my god! And these bonuses. When I talk about these bonuses, they're low. Why do I feel? <laughs> why do I? I'm not. Feel I'm like, not. I, listen, you'd see these numbers. You go. Hmm. I just Tesla? can't help but feel like one day I see myself. I'm like 65 and I'm singing in a jazz club in Vegas to pay off Annie's gambling debts. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like that's where we're headed. Oh my god! Do I remind you of your father? Is that what it is? No, because he doesn't spend. He saves to gamble. Kind of. Some would argue that. I got to say gambling's fun. I don't know what else to say other than Murray, I support <laughs> you. <laughs> Actually, I would, I'm looking, I would have a, I need a private eye if he does go to Vegas. I think I'm going to hire Carlos to just go and watch him from afar. Is he going to Vegas? It's, this was the whole controversy. I think he is now not going, but when he was going to go, I was going to have Carlos mm. on it, like secretly just go because he's, my dad's 78. Like, yeah. He needs like a, a handler. Yeah, Carlos. He needs a Carlos. We all need a Carlos. <laughs> I got I got um followed to Vegas. You did by an ex boyfriend. Mm -hmm. That's how good he that ass is. <laughs> he caught me slipping. Oh, he was your boyfriend at the time. He wasn't really. We weren't exclusive, but um, I did go to Vegas, and um, he had someone follow me to like the pool party, take pictures of me like hooking up with someone else. We weren't even exclusive. Was it a girl? No, it was a guy. But um, yeah, um, how would you feel if someone followed you? Or would you feel violated? Oh my or God. Feel like it was deserved. Would love it. Be like, great. Like, watch over. This is me. what she has to say to be because of what she is. <laughs> it's She's like the political snoop. statement. It's like, no, we uh, here at Esther Incorporated, we stand by. We would love to be watched as well. <laughs> This is all. But she's like Scientology. Normal. You're Scientology. Everything is normal. Everything this girl has more cameras out on people than Scientology, literally. That's a fact. No, I'm a spy. I'm yeah, absolutely One of spy. my big fights with Esther is she was one of my location. Oh, yeah. I was like, bitch, I will never give my location. <laughs> I really thought you would give me your location. I mean, you did 10 years of groundwork on that and yeah. never will you get it. I, yeah. Now that, you know. And that's hard. And, you know. Whose but, location do you have? Dave, my friend Nick, my sister. You my have Nick? Yeah. The Nick I know? Yeah. Just to have it. I saw him the other day, by the way. Where? I was on Abikini and I was like, is. You should know. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Great. Do you have George's location? I wish. That would actually be the perfect location to have. Like, George, where the fuck are you? I have my mom. I have Carlos. I have my dad. I have John. I have my friend Kristen, my friend Lena. I have my second phone and then my childhood best friend, Christina. Do you have Jenna? You have your second no, phone? No, I should. No, I Jenna. That's so Jenna, no. Don't do it, Jenna. Why? I would love yours, Kalila, but we can Kalila, that don't later. do it. And we also know where Kalila is here always. <laughs> it's true. I'm a home. If she's not she here, she's, a... we just put a location on her mom. We'll know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should put something on her car. Oh, let's put a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Pelican Brief. You guys know that 30 million women are impacted by weakened or thinning hair. And if you're among them, you are not alone. And there's a solution that we all trust that can deliver results. And I'm not kidding you when I say, when I turned 30, I couldn't believe how much hair I actually lost. I don't know if it was a hormonal shift, what happened, but it was like, oh, I'm never going to grow long hair again. But with Nutrafol, I'm not kidding you guys. Her pubes are full. So full and so beautiful. <laughs> They're so long and straight. Sure. Thousands of women have taken back control of their hair with Nutrafol, with many users raving that the supplement not only transformed their hair, but restored their confidence too. Nutrafol offers two targeted formulas for women that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less shedding 
through all stages of life. Honestly, though, this is how I know they're legit is because they don't just say like instant results. They're like, no, this is going – it takes time. It, you will get healthy hair growth over time. You'll begin to experience thicker, stronger, and faster growing hair in three to six months. And I think that's key is – Patience. Yeah. Like any But then it actually works. It's right. not a scam. Any pill that's gonna promise overnight results is a scam. This isn't it. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. More than 1,500 top doctors recommend Nutrafol as an effective and high-quality solution for healthier hair. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash trash to save $15 off your first month's subscription. This is their best offer anywhere. We made sure of it, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash trash. Okay. Don't let the stress of daily life weigh on your body. Whether you're an elite athlete like Kalila or someone like me and Annie, just trying to make it through the day tension-free, a Theragun so can help. And that's not Esther exaggerating, by the way. It cuts my recovery time in half when I have really hard like yep. hit training workouts or when I do my fancy um, – Soul cycling. She's a soul cycler, baby. I mean, it really is like it gets the lactic acid broken up. It's great. Okay, here's the deal. Theragun is the handheld percu percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power. And it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. Look how quiet this is. It's so awesome. I oh, can't believe that so this good. wasn't around like my whole life. Like it's just such a – it's a, like a problem solver. You know what I make Bobby do at mm -hmm. night? I make him just go – I just make them Theragun my hamstrings when they're really tight. And I'm telling you guys, it's heaven. Can I Few borrow? things feel better than that here. The Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good. It gets to the source of the pain by releasing tension using Theragun signature percussive therapy, which goes 60% deeper than oh. vibration alone. Whether you want to treat your muscle tension from working out, an injury, or just the stresses of everyday life, there's no substitute for the Theragun Gen 4. I like, it's so good. I like that she is working out. Injury and then stresses of everyday yeah. life for you. <laughs> <laughs> the OLED screen and design make you feel like you're holding something from the future. Look at Esther. God, I know. It really so is so good. good. Just go to their site and check Georgie. it out. And the Theragun app learns from your behaviors and suggests guided routines. Try Theragun for 30 days starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash trash Tuesday right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash trash Tuesday. therabody.com slash trash Tuesday. Esther, didn't you send me an article about um, how there was like an article written about how um, we have it wrong as a society and that we should and friendship should mean more than like romantic relationships. Oh my and God. That we should live with our friends. We should live with our friends and that we shouldn't like hyper focus on finding the one, the partner when we have. It's like, yeah. Do you know what that sounds like? It sounds like a lesbian who's dating a man going, we should hang out with our girlfriends more. <laughs> we should put more emphasis on the women in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I... I handed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. What if friendship, not marriage, was at the center of life? It our is. boyfriends, our significant others, our husbands are supposed to be number one. Our worlds are backwards. I think it's true. Said the I saddest agree. girl in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the more that I share and focus on my friendships, the better it is with my partner. Because... I'm not mm. like going to him for everything. Yeah, like like sex and being hot, like a hot girl. You can't be. He can't be like your one stop shop for everything. No, he doesn't have a and, pussy. Of course not. And I, <laughs> and I used to think that the partner is everything, and now I'm like, no, the f the friends are everything. Scary, Come here, girls. <laughs> Who's your oldest friend of all time? Your best, best, best friend, Christina. Does Dave outrank her? No. In some ways, drowning. No. They're drowning. Sophie's choice. There's no way that there's a scenario where they're. There's definitely a scenario yes, where Dave's because you drowning. can't save them. Yeah, because you I, don't swim. I, in this, oh, first of all, you're, you're this scenario drowning. is I'm drowning. It's who saves you. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be Christina because she actually 
Christina would save me way faster than Dave would. Well, Dave, rank like your favorites on machine, your phone. Though. That's how you can tell. I don't have favorites. I don't have favorites either. <laughs> oh, shit. I used to, but. I call you guys. I call Todd. I call. Honestly, my sister outranks everyone in my life. Really? She'll probably outrank my kids. That's cool. Uh, I think so. Like, I, I don't think I could love a being more than I love my sister. I can't What's your even age? Oh, I'm it. so jealous. A year. A year. I'm so jealous of that. That sounds awesome. That's how I feel about my twin. He never picks up though. <laughs> he never. <laughs> my haven't, twin I haven't is, spoken to him in three years. <laughs> my twin's the most uh, called yet never picked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who is above who, but I know that all, like there's definitely, you know what? When someone that I was friends with passed away, it changed my perspective on everything because I just realized, oh, people are the most important thing in your life, period. Like, What did you think was important before? Popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I got to stop eating so much popcorn. There are people out there. <laughs> <laughs> so There are these people out there living. <laughs> so I'm going to put these kernels down. I really – like my friendships, I'm like upset. Like I love them so much. But I right now I talk to Carlos and John the most. Oh God, don't miss it. <laughs> no, that was they're fun. I love yeah. them. Oh, I guess I would pick Todd over everyone. Yeah. I love my Todd. But then you think about it, it's like you have broken up with boyfriends before. Yes, that's what you I'm saying. You never see them again. And, and then your friends are like Yeah. And my friends aren't going anywhere. We're Even, not breaking up anymore. Most of my soon. my friends I've broken up with, we get back together too. It's not like yeah. Unless they were just like not good and they weren't my people to begin with. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like we're, you know, we're sort of primed to believe that this is your person and that they're supposed to be your best friend and your, you know, this life that you're supposed to, you, then you force yourself to live yeah. together and do this. And it's like, yeah, I, I do kind of agree that I would be so happy to live with my sister and my best friend, Jess, for the rest of my life. Yeah. And that, we'd fight that awesome. and we'd have squabbles, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Like we were not ever leaving each other because it's determined. Yeah. Like we're best friends forever. Did, you know, would your friend Jess ever side with your sister over you? In the she fights? has. Yeah. 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 We go back and forth a lot. It's a swapsies. Yeah. It's a swapsies between the three of us and my sister and I. Um, Dynamic of three is fun. Three is the greatest. Three is so much fun. Yeah. I love a, I love a trio. Mm -hmm. Three is the number. Because when you want to, you can just kind of sit back and go. Yeah. <laughs> What if you can be late? <laughs> Sit back. I've sat back, but I've never stopped. I don't have one person that is above Dave, but I would say like Dave, friendship, family, like all are equals. In the same concentric circle. Who do you like better, your mom or your dad? I like them both. They're, you need both. The for way it to work. you it's the paused and already knew the answer but decided not to say <laughs> it was so good. No, it's the dynamic yeah. between them that is the toxic comedy that – keeps on <laughs> delivering i i would say to todd when we first got randy i'd be talking to, i'd be like todd i love you the most out of everyone in the whole world and they go even randy i'm like oh well, i guess i gotta pick you because randy's a dog is gonna die pretty soon Dave oh i'd pick my dogs over donut, some people yeah. we say that all the time it's like i love you so much but i love donut more it's yeah. so funny you know what i like to do when someone goes i love you so much you go why oh, make, them yeah. you why. <laughs> make them tell you <laughs> but why <laughs> okay, that's good. The other day, I, I was looking off into space. We we're at brunch, and Todd goes, "What are you thinking about?" And I was like, "I'm thinking that I, I'm, I go, I'm so glad you asked." I was like, "I was hoping someone would ask." <laughs> you don't about I love every single thing about myself, and he started laughing. I was like, "Yeah, I was just thinking about like my thighs. Like I kind of like my cellulite." And he's like, "I want to drink water out of this." And I was like, "Chill, it's not like water level cellulite, <laughs> Todd." <laughs> that's so funny. And the other day, Lizzie Cooperman came with me to Colorado. I had so much fun in Denver, by the way, to anyone that came out. Oh, my God. Have you been to Comedy Works in a while? Not lately. It's the most fun. It's cool. It was crazy. It was so fun. Do you stay in the, um, the condo? Yeah, the condo. Yeah, I actually started painting again. In they the have condo? Like, yeah, they oh, have I remember like, that. Yeah, they have like. They're, that comedy condo, though, it has like a creepy like chain man. Chain man. What are those called? Knights? Yeah. Chain. Man made of chain. Ch um, chain link. A bunch of yes, chain around. link. Yeah, she like a chain link armor. And but it's it was like, just so armor. I don't want that. There's like, a lot of them. The or a chain is, they're saw. They're so Esther, short that they don't even read to me as like a scary thing. But because they're taller than you, yeah, I can see. Thank you. No, it's cool. They got a lot of crazy stuff in there. But Anyways. I started painting and it was fun. My painting was good. You want to see it? Mm -hmm. 
I've painted twice. This is my third painting I've ever done in my life. Really? Yep. Wait, I have a question for you guys. Are you guys coming to my birthday karaoke no. extravaganza? I yes. wasn't invited. Yeah, you were, Esther. When is it? It's next Saturday in Koreatown. It's just karaoke. In costume, though. I literally was not invited. You weren't? No. I said I'm only going if Esther's not invited. <laughs> Where was the invitation? Wait a second. No one. No one has been invited except I was here. I was talking to Pete and, and George and I invited everyone. <gasps> Annie. If I did this every day, I would get really good at it. That's so good. Whoa. I was proud of myself. I was like, oh my God, I'm good you at this. You should be proud. Yeah. Wait, Kalila, can I come? No. <laughs> Where? Okay, we're going to do, do karaoke? You, had to, you have to find us though. Can I'll George buy locations. film? Yes, George can film. We're going to invite one of the people on your that you have their location. We're not going to tell you which one. You have to go to all their locations to try to find us. Thank you. A scavenger hunt <laughs> to get to my coworker's birthday. Oh, a co a costumes are optional since I know we dressed up today. But I got to get another costume. I think I'm going to go as a, a dead shaman to Whitney's thing. Are you going to Whitney's thing? Yeah. I'm out of town. You're such a liar. I've never. She goes, I'm out of town. I am out of town. I'm going to be in the desert. Whitney, am I not out of town on the 27th? What are you doing in the desert? You're out of town way too much in the next couple of weeks. I'm always in the right. desert at this, my birthday week is, I'm right. always in the That's desert. Right. Can we go to that part? Yeah. But that was a long no pause. <laughs> Did I you know, see it? That's definitely not a yes. She went, mm, yes. <laughs> it's my time to, um, uh, Where you do know. you go? Would you go alone? Um, no, I usually go with my family. Oh, you don't? Oh. Yeah. When you guys just look at the cacti. Yeah, we just look at cacti. <laughs> Joshua trees all day. Shouldn't it be cacti is one and cactuses is the rest? Yeah, I think it's so. It's like cactus is the other ones. It's so annoying. Yeah, and the fact that octopus is not octopi. Yeah, it's just get with the program. Right, English isn't it language. octopuses? Maybe. I thought I heard it was octo twats. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even had a banana break. She's I, not stopping me. Well, Has everyone called it, but you didn't hear it. Has anyone seen this? Uh, let's do the banana break. Uh, let's do the, the non Esther banana I break. I ate a banana already. Oh, fuck, I'm the only one that didn't banana you break. You stupid bitch. <laughs> On your birthday week? On the day of my rapé? <laughs> <laughs> it's her rapé. Did yeah. anyone see how Esther did not flinch one second while I fingered her vaginal? Try hand? it again. What do I care? I it feels present. good. You're a, it's a woman's hands with nice nails. I'm tickling the clip. What? Why would I stop that? Mm. Women have soft hands. Would you be okay being fingered by long nails? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> oh my god, it's surprising. That's <laughs> fun. That's fun only on OnlyFans. But only like if I'm like having BV or something because it's itchy. Oh, that's true. I woke up You're with an itchy vag today. <laughs> Is it just regular feminine to jinx or like a full on yeasty? Not yeasty, a yeasty, yeasty, totally fine. It just, I woke up like very like, ugh, I couldn't, like my headphones dropped in a box. Like I don't even know where they are. I was, I couldn't walk. I felt like Bambi, you know, firstborn. And, um, and then I like clinked into, and I went, oh, my pussy itches. My you itch know, we had rape. It wasn't going to be a full episode until we had vaginal discharge mm -hmm. chat. Mm, George. Until Kalila says, it ain't over till Kalila says the jingy. Do you ever look at your underwear and go, hmm, maybe I am a squirter? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've never squirted in my life. I haven't I've either. I've fake squirted and like pedo on somebody. Oh, that's fun. Mm. Oh my God, Esther, if we ever hook up, I'm pissing all over you. <laughs> <laughs> if it ever comes down to it, I'm going to fucking you, pee you, on Oh, yeah, it. I'm going to poop Have you squirted, you. Esther? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to poo right on your She's chest. She's a squasher instead of a squirter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not been peed on is that no what no no asked? a squirted oh uh i like how you answer this like this hasn't been asked like 75 times in this podcast <laughs> no yeah. i have not squirted yeah me neither i'm not a squirter me neither but i had a guy try a bunch and it was like me too ego was i can sort of so... feel it like yeah kind of, I'm like not it does feel, feel like, like, like you're peeing they're like you just have to pee i'm like i don't want to though yeah you're just trying that to ask me to pee. george are you um do you like squirter? your asshole oh um, my god you're a squirter no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Really? That's Vanilla. weird. All men are squirters. Vanilla. He's such a puss puss. It's because his dad's in town. He can't talk like that. <laughs> his papa's near. Is your dad gingy? No. I love his dad. His Dark dad, hair? Yeah. You're the freak. <laughs> I'm blonde. Come on. I mean, come on. Blonde. <laughs> blonde is ginger, if you really look at it. <laughs> Um, would you go? Um, there's I've, this in um, this this old. Um, it used to be, uh, I guess, an insane asylum 
hate using the oh, word I insane. Oh, I love this. I love this. Um, in Pasadena. And um, do you want to go ghost hunting? Yes. Are you fucking kidding? Of course I do. Oh. What What are the gadgets that you would use? Tell me what you would bring to this. I thing. don't have gadgets because I'm not like in the men in black, but I. <laughs> Those I did are have aliens. A, I had a nebulizer from Burger King Halloween Those toy. Are aliens. Oh, okay. what? Men in Black was aliens. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I would just. It's like, I loved 101 Dalmatians. The cats are so cute in it. <laughs> I love those cats. I'm getting almost upset at you even bringing up us going ghost hunting because, like, then let's fucking actually go do that. Like, literally tell me when and where I will get, I will dress in all black. I will get warm. We will go at night. Do you have a third eye? Do you have a portal, you think? It's her cervix. I, I like when you touch me. It's weird that she's not ticklish. Oh my God, she has skim socks. That is. <laughs> Esther. I meant to tell you that last night, I literally, that was the thing I wanted to tell you was have you checked out the skim socks? Because <laughs> they're pretty good. <laughs> They did come out with that that purple color today. I ordered it this morning. You got this one. Yeah. They have, don't they have the new neon ones too? Yeah, there's They're a it's ultra, like a purple pur neon, ultraviolet. Esther, I just feel as though you're not a susceptible person to um, have um, a being jump into your being, and I think that's why you have no fear. Really, in your she's heart. been possessed by an elderly woman you, this you whole time. <laughs> you're unpossessable. Thank you. And I think that's why you have no fear. I think that I have a portal. I think that they they would sense it and they would jump into me. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we're gonna have to like stop a ghost raping. <laughs> it's like, Jesus guys, we get it, we're not hot, all right? <laughs> She's the hot one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying, she gets raped so much more than us. If this is a, I just wanna know, is this real? Because I will go ghost yes. hunting with you guys. Let's just let's pick go. a spot. Let's, and let's make, let's make a, we should do a video. These guys film it. Mm. Let's bring this to the to the fans. Let's bring, bring it to the fans. My little bottle of holy water, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna bring that um, Friar Tux cross. Yes, I'm bring the wig too. I'm gonna bring my full Catholic kit. I'll tell you this: I'm definitely not bringing religious stuff. Oh, I am. What religious stuff do you have? I'm you not bring the Torah. It. No, but I'm not. There's no. I don't need anything religious. <laughs> you're gonna un. You're gonna like Baruch Kadanai. I'm gonna bring <laughs> snacks. I'm gonna bring. My, myself and my spirits. Mm. I've never met a ghost, okay? All the spirits that come to me are real. Look at this, scary. Esther, oh, you sure you still to go? I've uh, been ghost hunting, so if we wanted to... Uh... Oh, George is oh, plugging himself. Oh, George is bringing up his own <laughs> Oh, my God. George is bringing up his own content? His own content from 2015. Do not Even watch Even Rick this. Glassman wouldn't Unfollow do this. Unfollow him. <laughs> By the way, Rick Glassman's going to clip you saying Rick Glassman. And yes, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Rick DM'd me and was like, I'll have you in my podcast, but I have a list of um demands. And I go, my my number one demand is I have to be able to read the demands on air. <laughs> Holy shit. He's Why don't down. we no, let's have let's have Rick on this show when you're here. I have a Party. birthday request. I need you to recreate Rogan's ice bath, but into a freezer. Okay. Into that freezer. No, I want to do an ice. Let's. Oh my god, let's recreate the. I'll do. I'll do an ice bath on the show. I mean, you know, I won't. On really, the show, we need to buy. We need a. We need a sauna. Uh huh. And an ice bath put in here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes out of your cut, George. <laughs> Don't be a dick. As long as I can keep them afterwards, all good. No, they're gonna be installed in here. Wow. Well, um, so you bitches need to buy your Hawaii tickets. <laughs> fuck. Um, promise, How sign a waiver. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to a different island. Then sign a waiver <laughs> that you're not going to leave me for first class. No, we'll sit in this shit she's hole gonna... with you. No, it's going to be Esther first. And she's going to do it slyly. No, no, no. And she's no, like, no, guys, no, no, I didn't no. ask for this. I want to be with you guys. I'm Esther's dude, more codependent than she is. I'm going to fucking party on the plane with you guys. <laughs> I will tell you something. I have never had more fun than I had on that plane with Esther. Flying together. I yeah. laughed so hard. I... I we, George, you have to post these on because on the you episode. understand that when we're on the plane, it's going to be exactly like when we're together, but we're going to have an audience. It was so <laughs> the plane passengers are our audience. The, the chairs are our stage. Do you know when you laugh so hard that spit is like coming out of you? Like you can't control like, <laughs> it. Just it was like that the entire flight. <laughs> Esther was closing. This woman was like leaning into her seat and <laughs> Esther kept closing the thing on her back. Like it would stop <laughs> on her back. And then and then the lady would like look and we'd have to like pretend like it wasn't happening. Like we're like crying, laughing. We're gonna be sitting next to this lady for the entire fucking flight. I'm gonna be know? that lady. <laughs> no. 
I'm going to be that lady. We have to get our seats together. How do we do that? I gave you and my where do the seat boys numbers. Go? Where do the boys go? In stowage. <laughs> yeah. Stow. Away. Todd's going to fly it. <laughs> Todd's a pilot. No, Andy's going to meet us there on our private plane. She goes like this. Esther goes, she's asked me about the popcorn. She's like, oh my God, how do you make, like, was it hard to put together? I'm like, it's so crazy you think that I have any of these answers. She's like, is it hard to make the popcorn? I'm like, 20 batches of popcorn have been made in my popcorn machine and not one has been made by me. I do nothing. Todd does everything. I'm so jealous. That's the rules. Well, thank you guys for watching yet another wonderfully broken episode of Trash Tuesday. And can I just say, if you want to support us, we'd love for you to like this video. Sub make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Go check out our Clips channel because we have these things and we want them to grow. We're not just telling you about these horrible things for nothing, <laughs> for free. For free. <laughs> you got to pay for these rape stories. But your support means a lot to us. See you guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.